Hi, I'm Ryan Flaherty, head chef from Pilot Restaurant on Lemming and Race Course. And this is our second part of a series of dishes that you can try to make at home. The first one we just custom tart, hopefully it worked out well for you. Uh, some photos would be great, or if you want to work for me in the Pilot, if you come and have any questions. But for risotto, we're going to start walking through some of the ingredients. First, we have the Oreo rice, fly shallots, sliced garlic, olive oil, salt, some more chicken or veg stock, some version, which is a uh, unfermented grape juice, highly acidic, and some white wine with thyme and bay leaves. If you shallots, they can be sliced, they can be diced. As long as they're small, it doesn't really matter. Same with the garlic. And this great thing about this base, it can be made a few days in advance, kept in the fridge, and finished to order. We're going to show you what we do through that process today. Olive oil into the pan. And our shallots. Our garlic. Just on a low heat. I'm just going to let them sweat down. We don't want any colour, we want the sweetness to start coming out. So, now our shallots and garlic, sweating up lightly for about five minutes. We'll add in our rice. And our rice, we we'll stir around, give a bit of heat to it, crack it, open it up a little bit, mix that through, let little bit of flavour get through. Scrape down the sides. Turn our heat up a little bit now. Bay leaf, thyme, and once that started to sizzle, feel it just catching a little bit on the bottom, but no colour. We add in white wine, and our version. Lightly simmer that just till it's fully reduced. You can also sprinkle a little bit of salt in now and also add a little bit of sugar for sweetness. Now all the white wine version is all fully cooked out. Turn around and see, no more at the bottom. The stock that we've heated up before, I'm using chicken stock in this case, but you can use veg stock or even fish stock. I find a 50-50 veg and chicken works great. We want to be adding our stock in at stages. Now remembering with this, we're only half cooking our rice so we can reuse, reheat it later. And it's not, a, not an hour process, it's something you can whip up 10, 15 minutes before being put on. And then as it's absorbed, we'll repeat the process three times. I'll show you a great little trick that we can tell when rice is, is ready to be pulled off. A lot of people will be scared on when to know. One of the simplest ways to tell is to try something. I always go in. You can tell now, obviously, because I've put the chicken stock in, that's still very cool. Another layer of our stock. Last bit of stock. Stir it around. As we're cooking out, we can watch here. Take one of the rice grains. And if you break the rice, you can see the rice breaks into a different number of parts. We've got one, two, three, four, five. The more you cook it, the less the rice will break into. We want to have it break into about three. When it's three, it's about three quarters of the way there. We can remove it, pull it, and you to finish. I've got our rice, all our stocks absorbed. If we crush our rice grain, you can see now it's broken into three. Remove the rice. Now allowed to cool, and then we can remove our bay leaf time. We can store in containers for up to two days, and I'll show you how to finish when we come back. Finishing our risotto. So here we have our rice that's cooled down, it's been in the fridge. We picked out our thyme, most of it, and bay leaves. I'm going to add this to our pot. Our stock we heat it up, and we're going to continue with the same process. Half of that in, bringing up to heat. Should only take about four to five minutes until we get this risotto right. Now this time we've just got a bit more of a simple method of trying as we go. Once we feel the risotto is almost there, we'll be removing it from the heat and adding all these flavorings, the fat, the cheese, the herb, the seasoning. So for now, bring up the heat and let it absorb. Okay, we've added all of our stock now. You can just see it's still just starting to coat. Almost good. Turn off the heat. Butter. 
mascarpone, big triple tablespoon, cheese, a lot, herbs, chives, basil, bit of tarragon, parsley. Now we just want to start folding these together. And what happens as the fat melts, all the cheeses and the butter, you go a little bit thin as it starts to cool and we incorporate that air into it, it'll just start kicking a little bit more. You just see it now. Add as many or as little herbs as you want. There's no right or wrong, you learn as you go. As that cools, that'll slowly start to 